Welcome back to our soda machine project. In this episode, we are going to build a basic runner to test out some of the methods in our soda object. So let's just do public class um, soda runner. And then we'll do um, public static void main string args and we'll go ahead and just create an instance of soda and we'll just use the constructor that has a name so, um, so we'll just pep pass in Pepsi and then we'll print soda We'll compile to see if we have any errors. And we do not. So before we print, let's just check that in Soda, we have a constructor that allows us to create one and we're just concerned about the name. Now, when we print this Soda out, you'll see that you're getting the name, but the other parts are um, their defaults. And that's because in the class toString down at the bottom, we're printing out the brand plus the ounces plus is it recycled or not. The default for recycle is true, and we haven't told how many ounces it is. So let's go ahead and make another soda that has these variables in it. So we'll say soda, soda2 is equal to new soda. And now we'll use the constructor that asks for three things. So if we go back to our soda, we want to check the different constructors we have. And we want a constructor that allows for the name, the ounces, um, and whether it's recyclable or not. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and make an, a constructor that allows for those three attributes. And we're going to remove container type from this constructor. So now when we make soda2, we can pass in something like diet Pepsi. And then the other things that we wanted were its ounces, so we'll pass in 12 or maybe it's a 16 ounce can. I think 12, the bottles used to be 12. And then is it a recyclable aluminum can? We'll say true. So you notice here that when I pass in a number, I don't put quotes in it. And when I pass in a Boolean value, I can either pass in true or false. So now when we print soda, I'll just go ahead and copy this print statement and change it to soda2. And I'm going to go ahead and put a print statement in here that's blank. So we have a space, a line space between our two sodas. So let me compile. Um, I think I'm missing ln. There we go. Ah, and then these guys are missing ln too. So now you can see that the, the defaults are there. And then this has Diet Pepsi, the number of ounces, and that it's recyclable or not. So other things we could do is we can use the getters and setters to get a particular thing, like system.out um, company. And we can then use the getter for company name. So we say soda one dot get company. And let's check to see in our soda class if we have the variable for company. 
Yes, we have, but it's capitalized, and so it's a constant for Pepsi. And then let's check to see, make sure that we have a, an assessor method for company, and we do, it's called get company. So in our runner, then, we can compile this. And we can return the company. We can also um, use um, our a setter method to set the ounces of a soda. So we can say um, soda2 or soda1 dot set ounces. And we can set it at 12. And then we can go ahead and reprint out soda1. Just copy the print statement for soda1. Now you can see that our soda down here has 12 ounces, and it's still the default is that it's recyclable. Another thing we can do is then is to um, check the container type of our soda. So we'll need a method in soda to check the container type. So down here we'll make a method check container type. And we'll say public void set container type. And we're going to allow the user to pass in a letter for either A for aluminum G for glass or P for plastic. So we'll just do char type. Uh, or we can say set container type. And then we'll use a switch statement. So we'll pass in type. And then we can say case A for, and then we'll take the container val variable set equal to aluminum and then case G is equal to glass bottle and case P is equal to plastic. Okay, so we can go ahead and compile this just to make sure we don't have any errors. And it, are, it says that we already have a set container method up in our assessors. So let's go up here and we're going to comment out this basic set container one. That should fix that. And now it says incompatible types cannot be converted to a char. So the reason for this error um, is that our a variable at the top is um, a container, I mean of type char. And so what we need is another type of container of string. So we can say private string container. And it should fix the problem then. Maybe um, well, let's on let's comment out the other container, and then it doesn't like this constructor because we have char here. So now we have to put string. And then here we need a string.
Okay, so now we should be able to go back to our runner and do something like not only set the con ounces, but we can set the container type to a, and we can pass in a char of P for plastic. And then we should get back plastic bottle. Um, oh, we need a con we need a constructor that has we did not for soda one we did not have so our, that error is being caused because in soda one when we created it we only have a brand name so we need to use the different constructor here that has um, when we created the soda so what we really need to do then is make a different soda so let's go here and make a soda soda 3 is equal to new soda and we'll make it 7 up and then we want it to be um, 16 ounces and we want it to have a let's start it off with a an aluminum container type and it's we're gonna not make it recyclable or let's make it glass um, make it glass and then if we're soda 3 we'll go ahead and print out soda 3 originally you see what that what we have and then we'll reset the container type to P and then we'll also reset um, whether it's cyclable or not and so we need to go back and look at that get setter method so get recyclable is the uh, set recyclable is the setter method and it's asking for a boolean so we'll type in true this time <coughs> and if we just compile these okay it doesn't like char cannot be converted to a string so we change this to a string so all we have to do is put double quotes around it and that should fix that error so there we go we're printing out Pepsi the original 7up was 16 ounces and it wasn't recyclable and now it's 16 ounces and it is recyclable and the reason we're not getting whether it the container type is because of the two-string method at the bottom here so we also might want to add um, container type so we can do our variable name is container so we'll do container and plus a tab And let's go ahead and go back to our runner, compile it, and then run this. And there you go, it says it's plastic, but it started off as glass. So these are some ways to work with the getters and setters in your soda class, and also some of the problems that you might encounter work working with different constructors. And the next time we'll make a runner to uh, work with our soda machine which has, has our 2D array of sodas in it. See you next time.